It is a nearly $400 billion market opportunity, and some 55 million people, or 16.5% of the population, is currently over 65. That's projected to increase to 74 million people by 2031. Pivotal worked with Techstars to coach 10 startups over a period of 13 weeks as part of an accelerator program to help develop tech-driven products and services to tackle challenges facing the ailing population. Now, today, those founders are presenting to potential investors. And despite the stereotype of founders being young and predominantly male, this cohort is half female and the average age is 50. One of Pivotal Ventures' biggest goals is to advance women's power and influence. And we know that caregiving is a barrier to full partic participation in the workforce and society, especially for women. So we've made several investments in this caregiving space to address these challenges that women face. These startups presenting today address a wide range of medical and caregiving issues from wave therapeutics, smart cushioning technology to prevent bed sores, to Bright's light therapy for brain health. On Decade matches families with caregivers. There's a company called Kinumi, which is a concierge service that connects older adults with a social worker to help them manage their needs and remain more independent. My FitPod is a platform that helps older adults find fitness trainers. Now, Whitmire says she sees other investors starting to identify this massive opportunity. PitchBook tells us that $17 billion was invested into companies developing technology to help the elderly. That's up from $7.7 .7 billion just the year before. Guys? Julia, uh, does this represent any kind of a, a shift, even marketing-wise, in, in how Melinda French Gates is talking about her investments or no? Well, no, I actually think this is, a, is an extension. What she's doing is Pivotal Ventures, it invests in both companies and also in nonprofits, and it also helps incubate them. And what she's trying to do is specifically with this is help women in particular. And, and you heard Wittemeyer talk about this, but what's interesting here is that when you talk about the pressure on women and, and the responsibilities they feel in terms of care, it's not just about caring for children. It's also about caring uh, for the elderly. And there are many people who are in the sandwich generation and having to take care of two different sets of people, both children and, say, their parents. And because of that, that is keeping a lot of women out of the workforce. And by addressing these issues, offering more tools, this should help more women have more of an opportunity, uh, especially right now when we've seen so many women leave the workforce due to the pandemic, help more women in particular.